Hey guys, what's up? It's Steven of Salongai, and I've got a request that has been coming for months and months, and I apologize, I haven't gotten to it sooner, but you've all asked for it, and here we go. This is Jesse Wellens from Prank vs. Prank. Um, you know him from YouTube, so you guys wanted it. Here we go, I'm ready to do it, and this is hot off the press. Literally, I just saw on his Instagram uh, about an hour ago, he posted this, and he got a brand new haircut, which is pretty sick. It's like how he usually wears it, but this is straight up like an hour or so ago. Um, depending on what time you watch this, but I saw this pretty recently. It was done today, so I'm ready to go. Let's do it. All right, so I'm actually going to start this with basically no guard, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go right to the hairline right under here, and I'm just going to start to fade this pretty low. All right, because he's got his faded pretty low and through here down in the hairline like this. All right, so I'm going to create this section just like this, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this around in through the back because he has his uh, tapered down um, going from shorter and then fades up and then it has kind of like a, a V down through here. So uh, let us let me do this step by step. I'm going to go like no guard, then probably go to like a one um, and then one and a half, then, then work my way up to about right here to where it's probably like an inch or so in length right in the corners on both sides. And I'm going to leave this longer right down through the middle like this. Um, again, it's going to be about an inch to inch and a half the most in through here, then it fade down to a little bit shorter down into the bottom. All right, so we're getting there. Basically, uh, what I've done is I've taken down the sides, and what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna work the top in, and he's got this kind of where it's spiked up on both sides here. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna work into the sides, and I'm gonna actually blend this in by hand to where it's spiked up, and it all kind of works into this uh, longer top right in through here. All right, so I wanna probably get this to about, I'd say right here it's about maybe an inch and a half uh, the two inches the most in length here, uh, and then it kind of flows right through the middle in through the back. So um, I'm going to continue to do this, and then we'll see when we're when I'm done cutting the overall length on top. All right, so uh, we're getting closer to where I want to be. Um, this definitely on a mannequin head is not the easiest. I'm telling you right now, but I'm getting closer to where I want to be. So you can see here, this kind of works into the back. This is a bit longer right through here, kind of comes down. Um, I still have to work on the top a little bit. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hold this all straight up like this and I'm going to cut it to where it's about, I'd say, an inch uh, to maybe an inch and a half the most. All right, I'm going to connect this all the way down like this, coming around this way. And then I'm leaving the front the longest like this so that you can wear it kind of spiked up like that. All right, so we're, we're getting there. And what I'm doing is just working this in, blending this to make sure it's all... Uh, nice, and you can see here's the flow that we got coming in here where it's a little bit longer in through here And it kind of fades back going from uh, Shorter into longer right through the middle again. This is this is not easy on a mannequin head um, But I'm doing my best on this I think what I want to do now is I want to blow dry this just so I can really see what's going on here um, Because the hair will react differently when it's wet than when it's dry So I'm gonna dry it and I'll come right back. All right guys, so here we are. This is what I've got so far uh, I've got this worked in this way as you can see here and then the same thing on this side worked in through the back into the middle. Uh, now he's got a deep, deep part, uh, a line that goes really deep right all the way down to the bottom. So I'm gonna attempt to do that and do the best I can. Remember, this is a mannequin head. Um, so I'll do the best I can and uh, let's do it. All right, take a look. Not too bad. I tried my best here again. Uh, you know, you can only do so much with these, but there's the line that goes all the way down to the back. I think it's pretty sick. Um, so now I'm gonna put a little bit of, uh, I'd say, I'd, I'd see either a gel or paste, uh, and then we're gonna spike it up and we'll be done. All right, guys, this is pretty much it. I'm just gonna spin this around this way. There we go. There's that line in there. All right, coming all the way down this way, back around, and that's pretty much it. This is pretty much the newest look that I've seen him have. All right, so again, this is not easy, okay? This definitely requires either a professional barber um, the best thing, if you are looking to go to your barber, bring in a pitcher. It, you can't go by what I say. You have to bring in a pitcher, let these guys do what they got to do. Basically, it's a bald fade, like a zero, that goes all the way up, guard, you know, zero, one, two, three, all the way up to maybe like a four through the corners here, and the same thing on this side. And there's the line right there, it goes all the way down uh, into the back here. This is about an inch, and a, an inch to an inch and a half the most on the top here, no longer than an inch and a half, right, it'll be too long, all right, and there's the back there, and I use a styling paste, um, tea tree shaping cream, I use it all the time, 
um, that's the paste. So um, there it is, and I, I hope you guys enjoy it. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoy this video. Uh, again, this isn't the easiest video, uh, especially on a mannequin head, but uh, I think this came out really, really cool. Uh, I'm sure there's gonna be people that, you know, we're gonna say what, whatever they want to say, but I do appreciate the ones that do like my videos. I'm trying for you guys. You know, this is this is part of my life. It's you guys and doing these videos. So thank you for all the support. Um, maybe get this out to him. Hopefully, I think he'd be he think it's pretty cool that I'm doing this. And uh, if you saw this haircut, so thank you so much for watching, guys. And I'll see you next time for more tutorials with the salon guy.